Howdy, folks. All right. It is time to panic again and hopefully hopefully not die in the end of the world. Uh, last we left off, basically we were with Ivor and Squad and uh, we ran out of time. So now we're back in a uh, uh, good old... Uh, I can't remember the name of this city already. But we're back in the, the town that's right on the edge of the world. So, we get to see what our consequences are for not making it through before time ran out. So we could go to the outskirts, we could go to the menders. Something tells me that the menders are probably more valuable. Um, let's see, one renown gets... Okay, so there's no supplies left. So that's good. I have 62 renown, which is not bad. Wow, it's actually surprisingly not a bad item either. Uh, I think I'm going to rank up my folks just before we dive too deep into anything because, I mean, let's be real, I'm probably going to get thrown straight face first into a battle before I know it. Hey, but on the plus side, Alette is back and kicking. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do... Well, let's swap these two. Yeah, there we go. Because Gris is a better shield breaker than Hakon is, I think. Unless he has an item that does it, but uh, I'm going to need a little bit of a refresher since it's been a hot second. Okay, so this is one will per turn, one armor per turn, break resist. Wow. That's pretty good. Protects from death, and then minus two strength attack. I guess that would be good for Moger because it just leaves him as just an unstoppable killing machine. Oh! Right. I forgot that we have this fella. Okay, so I guess I could pull Bastion into this. That's cool. Uh, okay, so he has some points. Yeah, let's max those out, I guess. Give you hunker down, because why the heck not? Um, let's see. Puncture, avoid an armor attack. You know what, maybe I'll do that. I'll make him the, like, mega armor beast. So this maybe is better. Does he break? Oh, he does break. Yeah, let's give that to Bastion. Um, okay. So then maybe what we do then is pull Gris out and pull Bastion in? I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. I've never used Bastion. What's his ability? Okay, so he has Kindle, he has Drumfire, and he has Splinter. So I think that's the same as the other big guy. So that's fine. I should probably rank an elf up to 10. Are you... Oh. Okay. So let's do that. Before I forget again and spend a ton of points. Bastion doesn't have anything yet. I don't know if I want to give him a heroic title. A lead is good. Okay. So that leaves us with 32 points to allocate. Oh, I have Zephyr now. Oh. I mean, it would be kind of nice to pull Zephyr onto the field. What does she even have? Will resist. Oh, per rest. Sorry, I misread that. Uh, but she can't mend, can she? Oh, I gave her that. Okay, so maybe I will pull her in. Pull out. Gnulf pull in. Yeah, let's do that. That way we have two menders on the field, and Alette honestly is not the greatest mender in the world. She's probably better off in combat, um, but Zephyr has some pretty good abilities that will keep her busy otherwise. So really, the question is, is there a better item to give Zephyr? Crit chance, 
Uh, all talents, plus two will, plus one will per rest. Okay, that's not bad. Plus three will per rest. It's, that's super good, but... It's really the question of, will I actually get the chance to rest quite that much? Will per kill? Yeah, maybe I'll leave that pipe on Zephyr. Okay. So do I promote Nid? And give her a title? What are the titles that are left, anyway? So, damage on consecutive enemies. Actually, that would be good for Nid. Will on kill. That would also be good for Nid. Break would be good on Moger. I think I was planning on leaving that for Moger, so maybe that's what I'll do. I'll make him a breaking machine. The foolish. That might not be bad for Nid either. With no Jason allies. The Forsaken. The Unbent. Less aggro. I mean, this would be good for Zephyr. Really, any of the 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 um, Volca recover from KO. Okay, so I think we'll start with Moger. We'll give him a rank up. There you go, buddy. You're now rank eleven. Oh, I gave him this too. Hey, look at that. Crit chance. Regen willpower. Avoid strength attack. Or bonus hit chance. Probably just avoid. Yeah, strength damage. Cool. And then we're going to give you the breaking machine. Yeah. So he'll just get two break. Oh no. Two break and one damage for right now. Still pretty darn good. I'm going to be real sad if Moger dies, but at this point, it's the end of the game. Anyone could die at any moment, so... Okay, so now Moger is rank 11. This is still probably the best... Oh my god. So he's got break 7 plus 2, so he has break 9 right now. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I forgot I gave that to Ubin. Ah. Now I kind of feel bad that I didn't pull Ubin onto the field. That's okay. We'll give Bastion a, a shot because he's he's new to the team. Whew. Okay. We're good. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's go to... The Menders. Menders are spread out evenly along the walls, each overlapping the light created by the next. Guards with distant expressions stand and watch between them. Around their feet are piles of warped dredge and men alike. They're starting to scale over the bodies on the other side of the wall. Jeez. It's like a zombie outbreak, says Zephyr. Some small disgust in her voice. As if to prove the point, a Mender yells when more warped rise into view. Hurry. Beck and Zephyr. Hey, oh. I think we saw this last time. That's pretty horrifying, though. Ugh. All right. <laughs> I'll just jump right into this. Yeah, I don't think I'll change anything. All right, let's do it. Let's hope that everything works out for the best. I gotta get Zephyr some kills though, so that I can rank her up too. I'm just not sure whether or not I wanna save some of those hero titles for the other party. Keep the warped away from the menders. Oh no, easier said than done. Yeah, definitely easier said than done. Good thing I got a lot of shield boys. Yeah, buddy. Alright. 
So that's just... A, we just got a bunch of heavy armor, guys. This actually is not... Shouldn't be too crazy of a fight. Explodes on death. Wait for enemy movement within sling range and throw. Oh, that's mean. So that's why my guys kept taking damage. I couldn't figure it out before. Okay, then we have soul bond. Wounded allies explode. Oh. Stone singer. Lowers armor. Okay, gotcha. Then I guess we'll move our archers up front and center. And Zephyr, you can just hang out with the other menders. All right. So who goes first? This guy that can't do much, then this guy who I absolutely want to be close to. So I think we'll just move our formation forward. Hey, Dylan. How's it going, man? Uh, okay, so that guy's going to be able to hit Moger, but who goes after that? Big dude? Okay, so then maybe, maybe if things work out, I can use Rain of Arrows. <laughs> ah, you noticed, did you? Yeah. Thank you. I, uh, it's got a nice little... ACTV logo on the back too but this this is like prototype version but I actually I, I made a little mini merch shop so if folks uh, they're like 15 bucks so like I don't expect anyone to buy them but they're they're out there I have a little merch store if, if anyone wants one of these fancy mugs they, they turned out pretty nice they were made through Streamlabs merch system and they do a surprisingly okay job it's going well, just relaxing on this Sunday evening. Ah, yeah. That's good, though, man. I'm glad that you could take it easy. I feel like my whole weekend has been a, a blur of relentless work. I feel like this won't actually do anything of use because she can't shoot far enough. All right, we'll just have Nid rest. Wow, that guy did not move much at all. Okay, so I could... Use drum fire. Hot ash, remnant men's dredge, men's dredge, and hurts all others. So then, will that mend these guys? I'm really not sure. I think maybe I won't take that chance then. Oh, hey there! Ow! Oh, he has a ton of shield break or armor break too. Okay. Well, honestly, I feel like right now it's more important for Moger to stay alive. So, we're just going to mend him. So, we need seven. Uh, right now, I'll mend eight with one willpower. So, hell yeah. I don't know how my morale is so good, but I won't complain about it. Jeez, these guys just annihilate my armor. Uh, yeah. We'll break his armor. So much for his armor, though. Jeez. I mean, I can mend it again, which I might as well. Oh, I forgot about Breeze. That's a good ability. Okay, so now he needs eight. Zephyr will deal nine. Man. Ah. Oh, can't touch me. Too strong. What was that all about? Whatever it is, I'm not gonna let it fly. Ow! Too bad I got too much armor, suckers! Ho ho ho! Oh ho ho! I could just say goodbye to his armor. Yeah, buddy! Ah, ew! Gross. Okay, is that. I think that's the leech thing, right? Yeah, he just drains per turn. So, I'm going to pull Nid up so that she could maybe reach him. Eh, I don't know if that'll be worthwhile. Bird of Prey. So, she'll deal one to him. I 
I mean, like, maybe. I don't know if it'll actually stop him. I'll give it a shot. Oh, it does stop him. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna just whack this guy because hell yeah. Whack! Oh, oh, you leave it alone. Alright, who I gotta let? So now these guys are all pretty much okay. So I think I'll move her up. I could break this guy's armor even more. Alette does have pretty decent armor break. Uh, but I think instead I'll do Overwatch. So a lot of these guys are going to kind of be creeping over here, so... At least that's how I feel, but... I guess I could be wrong. Whack! Okay. Well, Nid's okay ish so I guess maybe what I'll do then is uh, you know what honestly I'll mend Nid's armor it's not much but I don't want her to die and she'll be alright ow yeah we'll take that ha jokes on you <laughs> Ow. Okay, so now we got Nid. Nid can just get the kill. So, hell yeah. Wow! That exploit, though. Okay. Yeah, let's break this guy's armor. Make him basically useless. Ah, oh, look at you. You're you're just a tiny little goon now. Ah, why? Uh, I don't know. Do I want to use Overwatch again? You know what? I'll mend Moger. Okay, so he needs five. Yeah, he'll get it. Yeah, go figure. So I basically have to waste all of Hakon's willpower to get across here, but I think that'll be worth it. It was only four. Could have been worse. And this way, I can just give a little twirl and make a lot of these guys just useless oh there's gonna be another wave oh I should have been paying attention to that okay I'll heal his armor he only needs what five yeah he's good Yeah, I'll put Moger over here. I could just break his armor. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. In fact, if I put willpower into it, it spreads, right? Uh, maybe not. I never remember exactly how that works. Okay, I'm going to scoot her back so that she doesn't have to deal with any of this nonsense. Because I don't want Nid to die. That stinks. Okay, well, I'll put her back here, and then maybe... No, there's there's nowhere useful for that to work. So we could Bird of Prey instead. Maybe I'll get a lucky shot? I got a crit. All right. All right. You cut your shenanigans. Weak. Okay, so I could just kill this guy. 
I think I will. Yeah, let's just do it. That way, big guy can move up. Wow! That crit, though. Yeah. Bam! Okay, so... In preparation for the next wave... Which is happening pretty soon... Let's just mend up some of these guys so we can swap out and keep our heavy hitters around. Uh, okay, so let's heal... Wow, Mugger's actually doing okay. Okay, so then let's heal this guy. He needs what? Four, six? Alright, he's good. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yeah! Oh yeah, Mogur can be promoted. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna be out of here. But I might as well shoot at him. Hmm, okay, so then, really the question is, is it worth spending, wasting his willpower? You know what, I'll have him rest so that he can keep some of this. Then maybe I'll have her go up, break down a bunch of his armor. And since Hacken doesn't have much to lose, just have him lose the willpower and then get the kill. Gacha! Okay, so let your hurt. But she might be worth keeping on the field anyway. Nid, I'm gonna drop her. I don't think I wanna pull Ubin on. Uh. Oh, they're gonna come from all directions. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, I could pull Oddleaf in. I guess she's just as suited for this. Yeah, I feel like getting another ranged character is definitely the way to go for this fight. Okay, let's do that. Because having three gigantic guys is kind of the way to do this, I think. And they're all good. Like, Hakon took one point of health damage, and that's it. So, not too worried about them. Alright. Do I have to move all of them? Can I just, like, move some of them, maybe? Yeah, will that let me do this? Oh, we do not want you all the way up there, though. Okay. I think we're probably okay-ish. Let's find out! Well, that's not ideal. Oh, no! Okay, who goes first? Of course. Really wish there was something more I could do to prevent things like that from happening, but, you know, that's fine, I guess. Well, I'm just gonna scoot back here and pummel you with everything I got, because otherwise Alette's just gonna die. So, um, yeah, maybe I was kinda dumb here. I could have just stocked up on a bunch of Varl, because now I could spread them forward. Which I couldn't do before. Uh, well, this is also less than ideal. Alright, I'm gonna have her go over here and just slap this guy silly. So that he's not continuing to drain Oddleaf's health. I guess I'll get a couple of actions before that guy gets to go again, but eh, it's not exactly... Optimistic. Okay. Uh, Runigale. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and drop one of these down here. 
So, okay. Actually, I'm going to scoot her back a little bit, though. So I could scoot back, I think, just one, one space. Yeah, that's okay. Wasn't in the best spot in the world, but I'll take what I can get. Ugh. Gross. Okay. This guy, we're just gonna break you down to nothing. And this is the last wave. Okay, so I can go a little crazy here. Oh no. Ugh. Not a let. Alright, well, I'm gonna. I guess walk back this way then, just to get rid of this guy. Bam! Take that! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho! You're funny. Okay, well, it won't quite work out in a kill both of them at the same time way, but at least whack! This guy's done. Nice fish. I think I remember seeing that item in the shop. Okay. I'll give you some more willpower. You guys are pretty okay. Uh, I wish I could see the range on... I assume her range is basically just this. Yeah, I don't think that'll be particularly useful. So maybe I'll just break down the rest of this guy's armor instead. It's better than nothing. Ah ha ha ho. All right, well that was a little little worse than I hoped for. Bird prey, rain of arrows. Yeah, let's just I guess I could Oh, I could just kill this guy. Oh, right, because she hasn't moved. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with that. It might mean that... I don't know, because Mogur would have probably died next turn anyway. Please don't kill him. Ah, dang it. That's okay. At least I have more shield breakers now. So it's not the scariest thing in the world. Yeah, I guess... Let's throw some more of those down. That turned out pretty well. Armor break, willpower, and willpower. Okay. That's cool, too. Wow, you chose the worst out of the mix. Uh, well, I guess you still killed Alette, so... Who am I to talk? Yeah, let's just go up here. They're so strong, and yet, they really could be doing more to, like, try to hurt my guys, but, you know, to each their own, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna use Tempest, because at least I'll be able to hit both these guys. Now, at least the one guy that's gonna move next turn isn't... Oh, never mind. Oops! I thought the other guy was going to go for some reason. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just run. <laughs> oh, well, this might be her her chance to get some nice kills in. All right, well, we'll have her do that at least. Oh, he took damage. Yeah, so did Hacken. I'll just whack him then. Uh, this is probably... Maybe... Sundering Impact would actually not be bad. Added Strength and Armor Damage to target and adjacent enemies. 
Okay, so... Yeah, I guess maybe this is what I want. Yeah, okay, let's do that. It's not great, but it's a heck of a lot better than nothing. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll scoot her forward. And I guess use Runigale. And just hope that they don't use that to kill her. Okay, well. She may not be able to use those anyway. But I'll try. Oh, he has three chain. Oh, he's going to be... I one willpower short from killing this guy. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, I could just kill this guy and then we're in pillage mode. Maybe that's the right choice. You know what? I'll just use a uh, good old handy dandy tempest. Bam! Alright, now we're in pillage. Oh, of course. Oh, it goes away. I should have guessed. Well, I guess in that case, let's just go all out. Let's finish this guy. What's this attack? Heck yeah. What? Why'd you stop? I thought I told you to go one more forward. Ah. Or did he just run out of willpower? That might have been it. Dang it. All right. <laughs> well, now I don't think he can reach Zephyr, so that's good. So maybe Zephyr could actually kill him. Yeah, you know, it's worth a shot. <laughs> there we go. Now, Zephyr, you can land the killing blow. Look at you getting kills in. Chabam! Uh, still not ready for promotion, but every little bit helps. And maybe everyone will be healed the next time around. So we got the blackfish. I feel like this wasn't that good. I guess we'll find out one way or another. Hey, but Moger's ready for promotion, even though he's hurt. Oh, poor Alette. Aww. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I messed up a little bit that time around. That's okay. <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll walk it off. Sometimes I have to wonder about humanity. We're barely holding the walls and all the clans can all the clans can manage to, to, to is to rob and kill each other. Captain, my menders need more protection on the walls. You have as many men as we can spare, Valka. The rest are in the streets. Eberang isn't worth saving if only killers and thieves remain. Even if my father was here, he'd have a little control over the city now. I have less, even less, but I'm certain I can find men loyal to my father's banner. Put me in command on the walls. Are you certain? I can guarantee no safety here. If there's time for me to lead, it is now... They look to you. They, you realize that whoever is put in charge of the walls may be in serious danger. Hell yeah. The walls are yours, Ludin. Your father would be proud. I am so ready to do that because this is what Ludin... This, this is the justification for Ludin. He is like... He has learned the ways of like the world and now he's ready to lead. Why would I strip that opportunity from him? My father was a lot of things, but proud of his son was not one of them. 
I'll send word to loyal men to keep the menders standing. Better not mess up though, Luden. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay, so there's still more we can do. Oh boy. Alright, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, she's injured. He's injured. We have 43 renown though. Oh, that's right. Nid's okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I guess really the current party then is going to be Hacken, Bastion, Gris, uh, Nid, and Zephyr. Yeah, I'll keep those two up. And then maybe Ubin? Yeah, because I want two shield break. Oh, I guess Gris could be a shield breaker. I like Ubin more. Yeah, Ubin is better than Gris. Sorry, man. Aw, oh, but I can't rank up Ubin yet. Darn. What does Gris have equipped anyway? Oh, that is pretty good. I'm gonna hope that this is good, though. Although, I guess I could just throw this item on Ubin while um... Moger is out. Yeah, I'll do that. Just for safety, I'll throw that on Moger. In case I forget, which is very possible. Okay, so then I probably still want another archer, so... Uh, Yursa, you're not that good. I do like your slag and burn, though. Puncture. Oh, they all have this. Okay. That's just the, if they don't move, they do more damage ability. Yeah, I, I guess we throw Yursa on the table. I guess that might change, too, based on what the next fight even looks like. I think I'll promote her, though. Yeah, it doesn't go any higher than rank 3, though. I wish I could combine these. Oh, that'd be so nice. Yeah, I guess what would I give her? More puncture, definitely. No armor regen. <laughs> Avoiding killing blows might not be bad. Or maybe I just hold on to the Renown and... Hope for the best... Could rank up Ganolf. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, well, let's. I'll hold on to it for right now until we see what the next combat looks like. Part of the city smolders since the riots, m matching the mood in the lower rings. Supplies are scattered, impossible to tally or portion since the funeral. Hoarding seems necessary for the future, and you're afraid the other clans in Aberang will feel the same. If nothing else, we should set the precedent from here on out, Aleo suggests. Combine and ration the remaining food tightly, send armed forces to pillage what they can from other clans, encourage everyone to fend for themselves. Uh, I mean, combine and ration the remaining food tightly is what I think is best. Yeah. Trust overcomes. Some are relieved to place that burden on you, others insist on keeping a watchful eye on the stockpile. Whew. Okay, so your goodbyes at the funeral. Oh, okay, so I got more. Oh, I see how this is working. Ration dwindling supplies. Okay, so that. So there probably was an option that would have gotten me more time. Fought off the warps at the walls. Okay, so we got eight more days. Cool. I like how this works. I'm glad that it's not like, oh, you're out of time. Guess everyone's dead, because that's certainly how it felt. Got a lot of time from the funeral pyre, though. Whoa. Oh, is that a godstone?
Maybe it is. Or either that or we're just in a new area. It'd be funny if I ran out of time right before that threshold. I don't know, though. I have no idea what's in store for us. We push on. Despite hope being lost, along with Juno, to something black and heavy ahead. Did the dredge build godstones of their own? Or they is did. This something and hope is not lost yet, Ivor. You jerk in terror at Juno's voice in your head. Oh, that's right, she died! Ooh. And her hand lightly squeezing your shoulder. Okay. She breathes softly. Well done. You can put me down. <laughs> Nerves get the best of the bravest. Not another step, shouts Ali. He pushes his way to Juno. You died. Not another step till you spill it. All of it. A chorus of voices concur, echoing off the pillars themselves. Juno sags upon her staff. She looks at Avond, but his stare is leagues from here. All will be well, she starts, but jerks back from Ollie's axe blade at her neck. No more magic tricks. Oh, no more magic tricks, Ollie hisses. I feel like she's not going to give a satisfactory answer. But I also don't trust Juno, so... You're right, says Juno. It's time you all knew. Yeah, I feel like we're at that point where you can't really, like, hide the truth of your situation. This will be more easily shown than told. Oh. The Valka were the first to discover a world within our world. The inner earth, with its own lands, people, and sun. A source of power far greater than our own. Ivan is the boss, the leader of the Valka, brilliant, but born with a mind devouring itself. I studied in secret to heal those wounds, and in time, we grew to love each other. But meddling with minds is forbidden, for reasons already clear to you. The Council sentenced me to death. They agreed to spare Ivan the same fate if I went willingly. So I did. When Ivan discovered what had happened, he carried my body to the White Tower. In his grief, he drained the Black Sun of its energy, hoping to restore my life. The sun fell from the sky, ripping chasms through both worlds. Oh, so that's what that is. The serpent slithered out from its shattered egg, half-born, and the darkness within spread. I have become the new vessel for its power. When we reach the White Tower, and Ivan releases my energy, the sun will move again, and the darkness will return to where it belongs. Huh. All right. That does explain quite a bit. Why didn't you just tell us this sooner? As Juno releases her grip over the caravan, the images fade. Avon carried me all the way back to Ridgehorn before he could go no further. That's where Hakon's warriors found us. They understandably believed I was dead and left me there. Avon lived still, if only barely. By the time he awoke, the Varl had taken him most of the way to Einar Toft. When I realized what had happened, I traveled by ship down the river to meet Avon at Sigurholm, but the Serpent's Chasms prevented this. I believe you know the rest. I am certain you have many questions. I will answer them clearly. That's interesting too. I didn't realize Avon was supposed to be the leader of the Valka. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. That's Maybe he was, and because his mind was unstable, he uh, was rejected as the leader at one point. But that explains why he's so powerful. 
Interesting, though, that he presented himself as Juno's apprentice, though. Uh, this goes all the way back to the time of the gods. Oh. What does the serpent have to do with any of this? If the dredge were taught by the Valka, why are they attacking us? Yeah, I have a lot of these questions. I'm going to start with this. The stone singers believe we have betrayed them. Early on, we discovered that the Black Sun was far greater source of power than our own. After the worst of the Great Wars, everyone believed the Valka utterly defeated the Dredge. In truth, we offered them peace. In exchange for use of the Sun's power, we showed them how to flourish within their own lands and create more of their own kind. So you created stone singers. In a way, we only shared knowledge. It has always been a difficult question of how to control how much control to exert. But now they believe we caused this destruction on purpose. They think that we wish to wipe them out and like anyone would, they fight back. They're scared and frenzied and will not listen. We have failed them as much as we have failed everyone else. Huh. And what does the serpent have to do with any of this? I'll admit, even I was uncertain until recently. But the easiest way to understand this is to imagine an egg. The serpent's egg was made inside this inner earth, a black sun mirroring our own. Within it, a serpent would grow slowly over the ages. It was put here to eventually swallow the loom mother's creations, a cruel trick to destroy them in secret. When the black sun fell to the earth, it cracked. The serpent and its power spilled out well before its time. Everything happening now is because of petty grudges between the gods? In a way, Avon unwittingly did us all a favor. If the serpent had grown to full size, well, at least as things are now, there may be a chance to reverse it. I'm not exactly bursting with gratitude at the moment. Understandable. So this goes all the way back to the time of the gods. This can become long and complicated. I'll keep it simple. The Loom Mother first discovered weaving and with it created this world and those living on it. The other beings in the tapestry, other gods, reacted in many different ways. Some wanted to learn weaving, and they took the creation she made and changed them, forming Varl and Horseborn. One god became jealous. He took mankind and reshaped them into dredge, and hid them within the world to grow and torment the other creations. When the Loom Mother learned of this, she became furious. As she had discovered creation, she had also unwittingly created death and accidentally killed the jealous god in anger. The other gods were terrified. They had never imagined not existing. They turned on each other out of fear. The gods died, but their creations continued on. The Valka were the Loom Mother's favored few. She taught them weaving. Even and I are descendants of those first people. I've heard enough. What now? Now we return to the source of the power. I am not dead, but neither am I alive. This energy within was, within me was stolen. Avend will place me back within the sun. The celestial spheres will circle again. The darkness will be absorbed, and without that, the ser er, and without that, the serpent will wither. Ah, she suddenly looks very tired, but tries to smile. Oh, jeez. How can I trust you? I will not force you. I can only hope. And now you know everything. Make sure Avend does what is right. Oh, yeah, I'm almost more worried about Avend because, you know, he has emotional investment in having Juno not die. That's pretty wild, though. It's kind of nice to, like, finally get a grasp of why everything happened. And, like, this even puts context into why the gods are dead. Like, that's just something that they'd been saying this entire time, but we didn't really understand it. An enormous bell hangs from the carved stonework. Even untouched, it hums with a strange, deep resonance. Elfrin says, the sculptors built this godstone themselves. They raise bells made of those who have passed. It is said that part of them lives in the sound of these bells, and they can visit their ancestors this way. Spark crosses his arms. That would explain the spooks. 
The stone singer approaches the godstone, hands up, shaking its head in warning. He seems too diligently... He seems to diligently avoid touching anything. At the godstone center, an enormous bell dwarfs the other smaller chimes hanging throughout. The bell's handle calls to you at a primal level. Are you thinking of ringing it or kissing it? Spar asks. I wouldn't do either. Um, I think I'm going to listen to our dredge friend and leave the bell alone. Yeah. I can hardly think of a worse idea, you reply, stepping away. Curiosity weighs on you for a short time until the caravan separates from the godstone. Whew. Okay, yeah, let's talk to Ollie. And hope that this doesn't spur into a whole thing. You find Ollie at the edge of the light, staring at the godstone. Mind if I join you? Hard to find space around here. Just keep your voice down. That vicious wrinkled fiffle won't share any of this drink, and my head hurts. In the distance, Spar takes a, a moment from lazily tuning his lang spill to throw Ali a wildly inappropriate gesture. <laughs> Ran out of your own brew. Lost my flag when I, flask when I was... When that whale thing shattered the frozen ocean. You hear the things coming out of my mouth. Sober is no way to live, Ivor. <laughs> he stares blankly into the distance. What's your drink of choice? What's yours? Yox milk? Who cares? Ah, never mind me. You know how some men can't handle their drink. I can't handle being dry. Makes my head hurt. <laughs> that seems like a problem. Never has been before. Who would want to take in all this majesty clearly? I haven't been this sober since I was 13, locked up in a Bower's Guard cell. I think it's a far, fa far away look in his eye. Rum's my poison, to answer your question. Believe it or not, I can't even throw these axes worth a damn dry as I am. But get a few drinks in me and I'll see bright ribbons in the air. <laughs> Wait, you see lines of light? Damn right, showing me exactly where the axes are gonna go. Usually I kept that sort of thing to myself, but what's the point? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ali, I think you may be spell weaving. Ali straightens his back as if startled. What are you talking about? Like menders do. Weaving? Like this niddinger who farts lightning and raises the dead, but only when I'm drunk. And you're just using it to throw things better. Ali erupts into laughter loud enough to make even Spar frown. What a time to be alive, eh, Varl? <laughs> I'll drink to that. Not if it was all for nothing. Uh, I'll drink to that. Don't tease. You pass Ali your mead horn and his hands shake as he gulps from it greedily. Ali the Spellweaver. My mom always said I was special. Maybe you're not as bad as they say, Varl. Who says that? Just take the victory. <laughs> that was good. That was a good moment. I like that. Whoa! I just turned to look at Chad and all of a sudden I see that Jimbo is raiding with a party of 38. Holy crap. Welcome everybody. And Jimbo, thank you so much. Wow. Nerd alert, nerd alert. Yeah. I want to get on the nerd alert action. Hold on, hold on. Jimbo. Yes. I got the nerd alert too. <laughs> wow, welcome everyone. Woo. Jimbo, I was watching your stream earlier. I know I already know you're playing Darkest Dungeon because that game is delight, and I've been keeping that on in the background while I work most of the day. Jimbo was last seen saving the timeline of Darkest Dungeon. I was right. How's it going, Jimbo? Welcome everybody. I this is a I do chrono streaming for anyone who's never been here before. So I play franchises from their first release date to their last release date, and we are time police saving the timelines of these franchises. <laughs> Affinity nerds, yeah, welcome. So we're, this is this is the Banner Saga. We're right at the butt end of this game too. If you've never played the Banner Saga, please 
please check it out. It is such a good experience. Wow! <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Foxen. <laughs> Did you come in on the raid too? <laughs> oh wow! Thank you for the follow. Celeria Games and Rusty PFX, or is it Fix? <laughs> oh, does that put us at 170? Hey, that means that we could do a giveaway. Da 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 da. -da. All right, these are the games. <laughs> these are the games up for the giveaway. Oh, maybe I forgot to update these. I think I still have keys for all these, so we'll we'll roll with this. So basically, how this works is, uh, I'll, I do a giveaway for every five followers that I get, and uh, now that I'm at 170, then we'll do another giveaway. So it's it's nothing crazy, basically. Whoops, I forgot to complete the last one. Um, so, it'll be one winner, and... Uh, oh, man. It's all the way over here. Wait, oh, here we go. Bam, okay. Okay, now we started it. So all you gotta do is type exclamation enter. And then you're in. Um, and I'll draw a winner at the very end. So if you're not here... It's totally okay, and I'll whisper your game key, but it's one of these games over here that you have the chance of winning. Now, these are all pretty good. I think the only one that I haven't played is... Uh, I haven't played Card Quest. I don't know much about that. I've heard good things about the other ones. I don't think I've played Cosmic Leap either, but I do really love Wizard of Legend. I've heard good things about A Bird Story. Sanctuary RPG is good if you like ASCII games. It's, these are all pretty indie this time around. It's <laughs> a lot of games. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. I'm so excited that people are, are jumping in on this. Okay, anyway, we can jump back into Banner Saga. So I'll do that at the very end of the stream. Um uh, so roughly I don't know, three three, four ish hours from now. Um so if you've never seen Banner Saga, think of it like it's uh Oregon Trail except low f dark fantasy uh like we're trying to right now prevent the end of the world the world is literally shattering and uh there is a wave of darkness that is just consuming everything and we're just like we we gotta go stop that somehow <laughs> indie is 10 out of 10 i agree indie games are, are definitely more of my jam all of my guys are really injured. Do I even have the means of resting right now? I hope so. Can I rest? I'm gonna rest. Oh! I don't want to rest. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that stinks. You know what, though? I think it's worth it. Okay, that one day will, make, will ease the, the pains a little bit. So what happens is, if you have a... a a uh, character that falls in combat uh, they're, they'll be wounded and they'll have just lower health every time combat ensues again um, until that you rest for the amount of days that it says but right now we're on a really limited time span we have uh, well we had eight days until supplies run out on the other side of the world with our other party that's trying to s just scavenge to stay alive at the end of the world and this party is in the middle of the like the deep abyss going to this big old black sun in the middle of the world trying to restore it so that everyone doesn't die Whew, it's crazy stuff man <laughs> Any of you ever tasted Tisselberry Mead? Spire blurts out in the midst of a deep and oppressive silence. You're all some grim company lately. I could really go for some Tisselberry right now. Others mumble in agreement, but someone passes around a strong enough drink to passes around a strong enough drink to spread around. Soon they're trying to one up each other about what they plan to do when they return to Eberang. Tell them to stop drinking and be quiet. Tune them out and keep focused. I'll listen to their stories as long as it doesn't slow things down and everybody dies. 
I think I have a key for this, but I haven't touched it yet. Oh, it's so good. This is one of my favorite game series that I've ever experienced. It's just... The story is so compelling, the game mechanics are super good, and they're so, so good at stressing you out. Every single choice is just like, I don't know, is this the right? Am I just gonna be sad about everything that I do? I'm so happy about it. As you all know, I don't drink. Ollie smirks to a couple of laps, but I knew a place in Beauregard that'll make you glad to be sober. Then you haven't tasted your... Bjorolf's blessing, Ali, Sigbjorn interjects. I'd kill anyone here for another sweek. He trails off. Didn't you already get three ravens killed over it? Oh, Spar <laughs> slings back and Sigbjorn grows quiet. Yeah, it's true. Bunch of animals, Valgard says, or sighs. I'm going to put Strand back together. See who finds their way back. I had a home there and friends. He gives Ali a stern look. I have a brother in Aberang, says Mogan. My twin. I didn't have a chance to leave things right. Now I'm regretting it. The ravens toast to regret. Eh, that's nice. You don't think the dredge traveling with you understand what's being said, but that's probably for the best. Djitch manages to slip an opinion between the body chatter. I always listen to. He quickly gets drowned out by the others and slowly mumbles to a stop. Aw, oh, poor guy. Give me a pile of coin when this is all over. Big enough to sleep on, Bercy says. Been working for others my whole life and it's wearing thin. I think I've earned some easy living. Several ravens toast to this. And the game devs have some pretty big brain stuff. If you like this, look up Jotun. Ah, oh, or Jotun. Jotun is, is amazing too. I haven't finished Jotun, um... But I, I picked up their their second game also, uh, which I'm blanking on the name of now. But I liked Jotun. I, I need to go back and finish it. Aven musters the courage to speak up. When this is done, I'll <laughs> keep my fain mouth shut. <laughs> oh, keep my fain mouth shut. Ollie hollers over him, and the others roar with glee. Aven's smile vanishes, but even trying to relate may have brought him some... Goodwill. Yeah, I think so. Beck says nothing, but everyone can tell he's thinking about Spears. <laughs> and our silent... Oh, and our silent protector! Spar quips. Looks at you. What does the great Yingvar dream of in his sleep? You all know why I'm here and what I want. Waking up. <laughs> Never meeting you bastards in the first place. Uh... I mean, like, this might be, like... <laughs> funny, Ivor, yeah. Uh, waking up, I feel like, is a little too gloomy. I think I'll lean into that. I think this will be good. Is it too late to change my answer to that one? Ollie chirps. Yes, that's a good sign. The others snort and throw rocks at Ollie as they continue on. The towering tower growing ever closer. Oh, well, I guess our morale is as good as it could be, despite all the odds. Oh yeah, the ending is awesome, you'll love it. Yes! Why is it warmer right here? Well, why do we only have four days left? Hey, why does this part look different from the rest? I don't know, but I hope that we don't run out of days. Soaring shards of smoky glass just askew from the ground as if flung here. At first it looks like more of the inner earth's strangeness until you realize that these are splinters of the black sun. Images reflect off the mirrored surfaces creating an illusi illusor illusory army of ravens as you walk through. Hold on, says Ali. I thought this place was bad before, but now there's six of Dietch. The nauseating, sweaty warmth still radiating from the fragments as everyone eager to pass through except Avent. He is stopped at one, with his hand pressed against the glassy surface, looking at his own reflection. I mean, he does look pretty different. Come on, Avent, it's time to go. I hardly recognize myself. Would be worse. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to compare. The reality of what I'm do what I must do is sinking in. We are getting close. Avon stares out into the distance. Now is not the time for second thoughts. It was always such a long way off. There was more time. Time for what, exactly? Avon sighs heavily. 
Juno revealed it already, but there's something you may not have fully grasped. Something she forbade me to tell you. She worried it might change things. Even this is just like, ah, man, I don't know what the right answer is here. It could be, I, I want to know, because I still don't trust Juno. No, no more secrets. The only way the black sun will return to the sky is for Juno to seal the darkness within. So she has to stay there, trapped, for eternity. A fate worse than death, and it was my fault. All she's done since is fight tooth and nail to make things right. All she's ever done. You can see anger spreading across Avon's face. He almost looks as if he's drawing energy from the sun shard. What if there's another way? Even with the broken sun, there must be energy enough to here to destroy the serpent. That might... it might be enough. And it might not. Uh, no, we won't... don't change the plan now. Will killing the serpent even fix things? Yeah, I mean, that's my opinion. I don't know, but I'm certain it will come for us again. There's nothing else for it to do. Why shouldn't I try? Why should I keep asking for permission? Avon, think of your friends in Evering. Avon's mouth becomes a thin line and some of the fire in his eyes goes out. I know. I apologize. My thoughts have always been difficult to control ever since birth. My mother was the leader of the Valka in her time. When she had a boy, the council was worried. The males of our kind have always had a touch of madness to varying degrees. My father couldn't contain his own. I suppose that kind of power would be hard for anyone. It is a curse. Oh, maybe that was Ivor that said that. I'm only alive at all thanks to Juno, and she has kept this power within me from spilling out. When she spoke to me in a dream in Irondoft, I wasn't even sure it was real. I had gone so long without help, I was starting to lose control again. Everything she's done was to heal me, and for that she suffers. Can you imagine feeling so powerful? It, oh, this is him. What am I doing? Can you imagine feeling so powerful and so weak at the same time? I can imagine. Avon nods, and you feel that you've earned more of his trust. Hey, okay, well that's good at least. Dude, man. Still only have three days, though. This narration. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just gonna go and gonna, just gonna say it. Spar grouses. Grouses? Grouses? I'm starving, and I didn't mean it as an expression. I'm so hungry, I might die. The caravan is getting precariously low on food, and nobody care dares to drink the water that pools in the dark crevices. You're feeling it yourself. The stone singer seems to understand, though you've never seen them eat anything before, scraping a hard bell-shaped object from the cliff walls and handing it to you with a motion like opening a book. I thought it was just more of a craggy rock, says Spar, taking the thing. It is a hard obsidian shell, but one once cracked, open a strikingly bright pink plant resides within, squishy to the touch. Looks like a mushroom. It doesn't smell strange or display the same warped weirdness that everything else does. There seems to be quite a few more still clinging on the cliffside. So who's gonna try it first? Uh, I'll do it. Step up and take a chance. Hell yeah. It tastes like a mushroom, but slightly sweet. A couple minutes later, you're actually feeling stronger, a bit more energized. The others cautiously gather handfuls and eat as much as they dare. You swear the caravan moves a little faster than before. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I want. I think so far, I've never had a bad experience eating strange food that I find out in the middle of nowhere. A bad trip incoming. It might have, it definitely will probably happen. But hey, at least we're not starving. Keep a friend company, Alfred beckons during short rest patting a lonely rock at the caravan's edge. Innocent enough, but you see ulterior motives on her face, brighter than the white tower in the distance. Alright, Alfron, what are you doing? 
You have something on your mind. You, Ivor, it's funny. I should hate you. Many sculptors are my friends, and you are who they tell their children to fear. But I don't hate you. The more about you I know, the more I like you. Is that really what you wanted to talk about? Straight to the point. Avon and Juno, they trust you, don't they? But I wonder if they've earned your trust. Uh, I'm gonna pretend like they have. Yes, they have. Trustworthy and loyal. Do you have any faults, Varl? No. Juno, she may be weaving little truths, but step back. Look at the whole tapestry. They wield terrible power. Perhaps you've noticed. It's exactly why they've made the Order of the Menders. Ah, look over there. We're only healing the sick building houses. Pay no mind to the madmen in ivory towers, turning the world inside out. I have considered it. Come closer. Avon created a feign immortal. Can you comprehend? Juno cannot die. But that wasn't their goal, was it? Was it... What is immortality without power? Misery. No, I think they're trying to make a god. To make themselves gods. Don't tell me you believe they've come so far just to undo it all. Oh, come on, man. This is not what I want to worry about right now. I don't want to, I, I don't want to have this conversation. I do. Then wake up. There's no more room for ignorance in this tiny bubble. Say nothing now. I'm not asking for promises. But a time will come, and soon, I think, when you'll see the truth unfolding before your eyes. When that time comes, look to me. Trust your instincts. Juno and Haven are not the only ones who knew how to twist their threads. I will make certain that they... What they claim to be doing is what is done. I've got to live here too, you know. I mean, the thing is, like, I'm not really left with better options. It's like, do I not trust Avon and Juno and then risk the world ending? Do I trust Juno and Avon and risk them becoming gods? Will they be bad gods? We don't know. I mean, like, maybe that's not a bad thing if they do become gods, because at least there's maybe something we could do about it. A distant rubble approaches, and all the things it could be race through your mind. Someone shouts, Earthquake! And the ground bucks beneath your feet. Oh, good. Violent shaking peels rock sheets off nearby cliffs. They crash around in great billowing clouds of dust. Is everyone all right? You shout in the aftermath. I knew I recognized you from somewhere, Valgrad shouts. He's swinging at Ollie with clenched fists. This bastard tried to push me into the falling rocks. As the confusion in the dust clear, frustrated, frustrated ravens are letting off steam with fights, a chance of fight. What is this about? I don't care what's going on here, but it stops now. Uh, someone will die. That's, that's kind of what my gut's telling me here, if I let this play out. The dude looks like Chuck Norris. <laughs> it does kind of look like Chuck Norris. That's a good point. What is this about? Ali murdered a warlord in Strand back when I was guard captain. I never got a chance to thank him for all the good friends who were killed as a result. Liar! retorts Ali. I've never been to Strand. You're both lying, Juno interjects in a dark mood. Ali traveled to Strand where he did ignite the war, but no one was pushed toward falling rocks. And if you both wish to keep your history in the past, both men pale from Juno's icy words, realizing they can keep no secrets. Ha ha ha. Alright, that's pretty good. That earthquake was no coincidence, Avon says, changing the subject. Same as when the serpent car carved chasms through the earth above. Be on your guard. Oh, ah, I only have one day left. Oh, this is not good. Hey, thank you for following, Jazz Azurio. Az 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 I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. 
So these cliffs were homes for the dr uh, So these, these cliffs were homes for the dredge? Yes, as before, why do you ask? Because I am starting to feel a lot of movement ahead. Oh, no. There's no way I'm going to make it through this without running out of time again. <laughs> Get it, Spada. Yes! <laughs> this time, the shifting shadows in the corners of your eyes are real ahead and behind. The others have noticed and are quietly pulling blades, flickering like a school of fish as you press together. They are warped everywhere ahead, clustered together to slow your progress, and more dot the horizon. You're so close, says Valgard, and you know his frustration. I mean, there's no way I'm going to make it. I could charge and break through the crowd. I mean, like... It's, it's kind of worked out most of the time. The more the closer to the slow your progress, the more die you should... I, 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 I guess make your way around the masses. That's what they want. I think they're just going to try to throw me off. Hey! Thank you for the host, too! <laughs> I think I'm going to charge and break through the crowd. Just going gonna, just gonna to go for it. What are we waiting for? You shout, push through. Alright, this is probably fine. Everything is good. Oh my god, that helps me. <laughs> yes. Was it the, uh, I forget which one I put. Was it the, um, uh, the Faces of Evil? Little gif. We're, we're going to be playing that game pretty soon. So, I do a bunch of Chrono streams, not just Banner Saga. On Tuesdays, I do Zelda, and uh, as soon as I finish Majora's Mask, we're going to do a little Chrono Rewind and play through all the CDI games, because I got a Philips CDI, and now I can play them. It's just like, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to pull the injured folks out. Oh boy, this is going to be a tough fight. Maybe I should have rested more. Juno, what can you even do? You can confuse people. Thread of life is good. And then weaved energy. Oh, that's right. She can give people willpower. I mean, was the Zelda one? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm glad I ended up using that one. Ah, oh, jeez. Wow. Brass Ocarina. Can, oh, no one can even use this. Let's see. Move after three... Move three tiles after actions. So that just gives me the ability that the Horseborn have. That's awesome. Plus two move. Plus three break. Plus two armor per rest. Plus two. Wow. And plus a ton of aggro. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, I could rank Kiwi up and throw that on him. I feel like, though. Oh, I forgot about that item. Okay. Well, at least my two heavy headers are, are doing okay. They look so tired. <laughs> they they are beat down to nothing, man. It's it's pretty fantastic. Oh, Sigbjorn, I want to use you, but you're hurt. What is the penalty for that? I think it's... uh. You just have... Yeah, minus two strength. I mean, it could be worse. Oh, he's got nothing for shield break, though. Okay, well... I could pull Mogan in. I'll pull Spar in. Spar's alright. I don't really want to pull Juno in. I guess I could pull in back. And pull in Ditch. This is a motley crew. If I ever done seen one. Okay. Oh, that's right. This team has like nothing for items too. So Ivor has plus two strength. And plus 40% dodge. Wow, that's pretty darn good. And no one else. Let's see. One will to all allies of standing within two tiles. Oh, so this gives. Wow, this just has the ability that Spar has. That's pretty sweet. Wow. Dang. Okay. Can I? How many times can I rank him up? None. Why did I think that I could? Oh, he has points. Wow, he has a lot of points that have not been spent. Ha <laughs> ha! Joke's on me. Wow, I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> uh, let's give him puncture. 
and hunker down. Maybe one less in puncture, one more in hunker down. Yeah? Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. Well, now that makes me wonder how many other folks have unspent points. She does! Aw, oh, man, how does this keep happening? Alright, so we'll give her robust. What is she? Okay, so she has a chance to get willpower per turn. I guess I could give her puncture. What's her armor? 10? Maybe I'll just give her a chance to avoid strength attack. It's kind of not much, but it's better than nothing. I could... Oh, that's right. I gave her this. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to rank that up. Heck yeah. Did I give him one? Oh, beautiful. Wow, that's brutal. Okay, cool. And how about Ivor? I think he's maxed out. Yeah, he is. Okay, so I have more people with, with titles here than I thought I did. I should go through this team, though, and make sure they don't have unspent points. Alright, I guess they're good. Does she use like magic? The elf run? Yeah, she uses... Uh, she's the only one in this game, the entire game, that can heal health damage. The only other magic that'll heal anything is armor damage, so she's crazy useful. Um... And then she she can just like zap around and, and stab people with her staff. She's she's pretty cool. I really like her as a character. In fact, maybe I'll rank her up. I could give her this. And then if I rank up Al, I'd have to rank up Ivor quite a bit to get to that point though. I do kinda wanna give this to Ivor though. This is really good. I could Oh, I could do that. You know what? I think I will. And then I'll just... Oh, man. I really hate this 80% chance to hit. The gold boar tusk is, is nice, but... I think it's ended up biting me in the butt. Oh, but it's also plus three strength. Oh, it's so good. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the host, Foxen. <laughs> Wait, I should do that with my mug. <laughs> All right, I had my fun. <laughs> I mean, if I rank up Ivor a bunch more, I could just make him a disgusting monster. I think I will. Let's make him a disgusting monster. Yes. So many points to spend. Oh, I maxed him out. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Max rank is 15 in this. <laughs> I like that emote. Sure. Okay. I don't think I want to give him... Uh, I, I don't know. I guess giving him willpower per turn would be better than... Death chance. Okay, so we'll make him... We'll just make this Ivor impossible to kill because he has every other thing that's just like a eh, chance to actually hit me is pretty slim a <laughs> chance to deal armor damage is pretty slim okay move through tiles break arm rest yeah oh it's so good beautiful hell yeah i'm so ready for this okay so then i will throw this on kiwi for now and i if i get anyone else up to rank 12 then maybe i'll throw the gold board tusk back on kiwi until that happens that miss chance is mean and i'm just gonna hope that these these two are really gonna be the ones that's gonna carry this battle <laughs> so serious okay what do we got so we got a couple of armor boys, we got this mole buddy again, and then we got... Okay, so these are too scary. I might focus fire on this guy. Hardened Warped Grunt. 
Okay. So what are my options here? I'll pull ditch on the side. You know what? I'll do this. Actually, I'll I'll lean even more into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? Oh, all right. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna do this on the other side specifically because these darn spell singers are just they ruin everything. What? Oh, is that not a tile? Oh man, of course. All right, well, we're just gonna do things this way then, I suppose. Oops. And hope for the best. Eh? 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 All right, let's give it a shot. Hey, but I can, now that I took that darn tusk off of Kiwi, I can actually move forward at a reasonable pace. No, no, no. Ah, oh, ha, 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 you can't touch Ivor, he's too strong. Oh boy, that's so beautiful. Squish! I love this, oh yes, this is so beautiful. I could just, I could just move anywhere. You can't stop Ivor, he's too good. So if you've never seen the Banner Saga, the way that the combat system works in this game, it's basically a two two core stat system where your health and your your power are the same stat. And then your uh, uh, armor basically prevents you from taking strength damage. So you, the, the idea is you weed through their armor first so you can deal more strength damage. And as you deal strength damage, that just renders that that unit useless they can't really deal much damage once their health is low so there's a lot of like really intricate balance of like you know how do you set it up so that maybe you don't have to whittle down armor and you could just deal enough damage so that your guys are safe because they've got higher armor like there's a lot going on in just those like two two core stats i think is really really smart i don't play this now isometric games are my life oh yeah it's so good this game is such a delight so I guess I could just... Oh, you know what? Nah, nah. We're going to do this. Uh, how far does your Ride the Lightning go? The perfect amount. Although I guess... Maybe if back was one more tile back. <laughs> Get it. That would have been better. Whack! Yeah! Now nah, I'm not scared of you. Is he bleeding? <laughs> uh, it still hurt more than it probably sh should have. Okay. Yeah, we'll have you kind of hang out with this buddy over here. Tell worth telling? That's not really worth anything. So, we'll do this instead. Yeah! Now Kiwi can just destroy the weird acid mole. Ah! Don't hurt him. I already have so few people left. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll have you hang out with Ivor and break his armor. Oh, there's no second wave. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go all out on this. Ah, uh, oh, don't go for her. She's the only one who can't heal. Okay, what's your... your Wow, your armor break is six right now. Then absolutely, go up to this jerk and just wreck shop. Yeah. Useless. Oh no, not with those spells. I'm not letting you get away with this. Yeah. No digging for you. Hey, willpower for everyone. Look how cool Kiwi is. That's, that's basically just... Ah, that's basically uh, Spar being like, Did you see that shit? It's freaking crazy. Oh boy. Did I give Ivor Tempest? Please, please, yes. Oh, today is a good day to kill. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's right, he can move again. Ha 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 Do I want to move him? I don't think I do. I think I'll keep him here for right now because... I want him to take the bulk of this damage. Oh, hey, but also I could do this and then kill... This little stone slinger. 
<laughs> okay, who's going? You're going? Do I need to heal anyone? I think you guys are all good. So maybe I will... Wow, I could just kill this guy. When does this dude go, though? I don't want him to get that spell off. Uh, yeah, basically would need Spar to kill him. I don't know if she can kill him either, though. I mean, she could use her Ride the Lightning, but she's only going to be able to do... Let's see. Deals one strength damage plus one per two tiles jumped. So... Did I read that right? Yeah, one strength damage. So it doesn't use her current strength. So if she's here, that's one, two, three, four. So that's, that's three damage. That's not enough to do much. Ugh. Yeah, I think there's no way around it. I think he's going to get that spell off. Oh, well. She gets a kill anyway. Hey, what's up, Grind? Hey, <laughs> get the nukes. Finale A, the final battles cometh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be wild. <laughs> a good day. Ah, uh, I know what that is. That's going to be a great clip. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for clipping that, Foxen. All right. What are we, what are we going to do about this guy? So he's going to go before Spar, but I could do things to stop that. In fact, I think I will. Oh, wait. No, I'm a doofus. I can stop. Oh, maybe I can reach. Okay, so I need to move over one, two, three, four, five tiles. Can I do that? One, two, one, two, three, four. You know what? It's worth it. I'm going to just, like, move... It, oh no, but how does it I think it costs more willpower the further out it goes. Rank three. Okay. So I think then I'll spend two willpower. So he still has three. Oh no! Oh I ruined it! Shoot. I don't think it'll reach now. Drat! Now I can't reach anything. I should have should have counted for this. Curses. I can't even do nothing to no one. I'm just going to shock this guy because now I'm angry. Yeah. Now you can't hurt Spec. Or Spar. Not Spec. Okay. I guess I'll just die. Yeah, by the way, House, there's a raffle going on right now if you want to get in on that action. Uh, I guess we'll stab this guy. In fact, now I kind of wish... Let's see. Oh, chance to crit? Yeah, okay, let's go for it. Huh? Ah. It's for a Steam game? Yeah, here, I'll show you. Bam, these guys right here. I think this might have been the same last as, list as last time because I probably fell asleep before I updated it. But I still have keys for all of these, so <laughs> they're, 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 these are some pretty good games. So if you're uh, into it, get on on that giveaway. All right. So now we got Sneaky McSneakerson. Uh, do I have him sneak? I could. You know what? Yeah. Let's have him sneak. Ignores nine armor, so he'd be able to just kill Mr. Magic over there. So I think I'll I'll just go for it. I'll lean into this. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have you kill oh jeez. So this guy goes, and then big guy goes. Yeah, yeah, we'll have you do something, I guess. Can Ivor reach? He probably can, so maybe. I'll just break this guy's armor down to nothing. Yeah. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, Ivor. Fill this guy full of regret. <laughs> That's right. He can still move. Oh my goodness. It's so funny. I'll leave him here, though. Okay. Oh! I should... No, oh, no. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I gotta go through the... Okay. How's how's that? Eh? 
How far is her range on her healing spell? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, but it costs more willpower based on the range. Yeah, of course. Let's see, will Sneaky Guy go before Spellcaster? No. Well, he only has nine, all right. Maybe I'll just take the willpower hit. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, it's, she still took damage too though. I forgot that that was a thing. All right, strength of will. Heal this guy. Yeah, now he won't die in one hit. Hopefully. Wow. That very shockingly turned out okay. Don't know how, but I will not argue about it. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's slow this guy down. How's about that? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand up right next to you and make fun of you. Right to your face. Yeah, ha, ha. I know, I'm a real funny guy. Okay, okay. What am I gonna do about this guy though? I could, you know what? I'll use his impale. Because he'll run away, all cowardly like. He'll take a bunch of extra damage. Ja! And he's gonna be like, ow, wow, 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 wow. Ha 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 If I can get through this fight without anyone dying, I will be a happy, happy person. I don't think that's gonna happen, but it could happen. Oh, it might happen. Yes! Nobody died! Holy crap! That's the first. First time in a while. These fights have been getting tougher and tougher. Every moment. Bruh. <laughs> Whew. That's good. I feel like I'm watching Star Wars. <laughs> the music really enforce reinforces that, right? The music was made by Austin Winnery, one of the best game composers, game music composers out there. Nah, it was just water. Although I, nah, I've, I had way too much to drink this weekend. I'm kind of like <laughs> tired of alcohol right now. I was going to say I could go get a beer, but eh, I'm just going to stick to water tonight. The warped are becoming more rent relentless. Seems to be more and more of them. Spar gripes rubbing on his short soldier, soldiers, shoulder, shoulders. You nod. Must mean we're getting close. Darn tootin'. Ah, man. Of course. Please don't let all my people be dead. Just let me make more choices. To bring, to give us more time. Please. Please. I really don't want this to be the end. <laughs> I wish I knew him. <laughs> hey, I mean, he seems... I... He, uh... He did the music for Journey. Uh... I know he did some other pretty prominent games, too, that I'm blanking on. Oh, no, this might be goofing up again. It, last time, it tried to bring us back to, um... Ab -b 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 the town that we're going to. I don't know why I can never remember this. It got stuck on loading, too. Just having a little whiskey sip in. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's probably a soft lock. Oh, yeah, because, well, yeah, I don't think it ever lets me open up options. That's okay. It auto-saves after the battles, so... Um, I didn't lose any progress. I'll probably just have to listen to dialogue over again. But it's not too bad. And it's the only, only real bug I think I've encountered in this game. The older, the other games I think had some other more painful bugs. Like, this, at some points it would just like not let me place my units in the battlefield and I was like but I need to strategize uh, but that hasn't happened in this in the third game at all so yep here we go we're back over here everything's fine if Aberang's story is written on ta a ta tapestry the edges are becoming frayed the menders are dying a few to the warped and a couple to stray arrows and mad revolters 
One to exhaustion. Zephyr pulled them back uh, to the next set of walls, the Noose Titans. Not everyone survived the scramble to safer ground, and you can see the lurching bodies of the fallen just beyond the Black Veil. Gone, but not dead. Oh boy. This is stressful. That's pretty good. I still think... Ah, Yax Nuts are surprisingly a good item. I would just give everyone a good old handful of Yax Nuts. <laughs> hey, okay, let's talk to... Hogan. This is the twin brother that Mogan was talking about. Hogan has propped himself up on his shield to keep from slumping over, but he stands as you approach. Don't stand on my account, you're looking rough around the edges. Speak for yourself, I'm fine. He looks a little embarrassed about snapping at you, and looks back into the distance. You ever think we'd make it this far? Uh, it's not in us to quit, we're either very lucky or very unlucky. It's not in us to quit. I guess that's why they're still listening to you. It could have gone all all could have all gone a lot different a lot of different ways while wow, I'm bad at reading all of a sudden if you're just checking on how everyone's doing I appreciate the concern nothing to worry about here though Hogan goes back to staring quietly into the darkness uh, what do you think is on the other side of that darkness how's your family Hogan I feel like this is what he doesn't want to think about but we're gonna think about it Hanging by a thread, Hunter. Hanging by a thread. Who isn't? All I can do is make sure they eat and don't get killed in their sleep. If I can't keep them safe, what kind of man would I be? I know what you mean. Ah, listen, I know what you've been through. All my words are coming out wrong. I don't take it to heart. Hogan goes back to staring quietly into the darkness. Nothing you want to talk about? Tired of talk. Tired of fighting. I'm just tired of survival. Couldn't the gods have done this differently? Why make us eat in fear and hate? Nothing stopped them from taking it all away. Smarter people than me haven't answered that one. Feels like being stuck in a bear trap, and I'm tired of it. Hogan goes back to staring into the darkness. What do you think is on the other side of that darkness? It warped everything coming out of it. I doubt the land's any different. You're worried about Mogan. I didn't want to talk about it, but... There it is. What a damned fool I am. I should never have let him leave. I love my family, but not like I love my brother. Ashamed to say it, but it's the truth. It's killing me. I keep watching the darkness, expecting to see him walk out of it twisted and bloated. I can't sleep. Can't stop thinking about it. Damn it, I should have said something instead of being a prideful idiot. What would you do? Oh, man, I don't know. Get some sleep. Nothing Mogan's still alive. It's, I mean, it's true, but... I don't know that. She doesn't know that. Forgive yourself. Get some sleep. Uh, let's be hopeful. Sure he is, just like Ivor and the rest. Maybe it would help if I could pretend like you. But so far, it isn't working. Oh, I messed up. Like I said, don't worry about me. Maybe I look rough like you said, but I'm not going anywhere. Not while I can still stand. I right, back what I missed. You missed us running out of time and having to go back to Aberang. Back into the fray. So we're going to find out what's happening, that's for sure. So do I go to the wall, the houses? Let's go to to the houses first, I guess. Maybe the commons. I mean, this is where all the fighting is. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's go to the commons. Let's... A livid crowd of horseborn confront each other. You recognize Canary and Deri... Der... Driu amongst them. At their hooves lay victims of the spat. Canary is waving her javelin threateningly. You can't be certain what has sparked them this time or who's to blame uh, convince canary to put her weapon down 
Canary looks at you with confusion, turning to discuss when she gets your meaning. She screams her in her own tongue at Derdriu, who responds with a dagger. Canary is the better fighter and turns the blade back on Derdriu. The crowd panics. Horseborn trample it and everyone in their ways as best as they beat a path away from the blades and arrows. Some pursue, others retreat. Amongst the bodies left in their wake is Derdriu, poisoned by her own blade. Ah, oh, man. You never find out what happened or why. Well, that sucks. So, Canary lived? I don't trust Canary. I mean, we already know we're not supposed to trust Canary. Oh, they're both... Well, I guess maybe I never had Canary with me because she's terrible. I should have just attacked Canary. That's what I should have done. Oh, well. No way like finding out like the hard way. Let's go to the houses. Black Soot billets up from ramshackle shelters and is spreading to bigger buildings at an alarming rate. Fire! Distant shouts confirm. Serves him right, you overhear a Varl say, watching from a safe distance. You realize he's talking about Ruga's loyalists, who scramble to save their own things from the fire they probably started. Rally able bodies and help put it out, let things play out on their own. This is an opportunity to press an attack. Oh, God. I'm gonna rally able bodies to help put it out. I'm not gonna mess around with this. A few brave hearts join you, creating a chain of water buckets. It's water you doubt you can afford to lose, and worse, you don't seem to be making much progress. The fire continues to spread. Double down and get the Varl involved before the whole city burns. The Varl hate fire, that much is clear. They mostly ignore your pleas, and eventually smoldering embers are all that's left, but not before people burned beneath the building and crumbled. Ah, oh, no. You spend the late hours of the day looking for bodies. Families grieve over kin pulled from the wreckage. The Varl are gathered around one of their own, a smoldering corpse. You recognize his his burnt face, it's Gris, one of Hakon's warriors. He did this on your orders, one of the Varl spits. Came a long way to die like this. No! I loved Gris! Oh, this, I am not making good choices this time around. This sucks. I'm not gonna get much time back, I think. Come quick, says a bloodied guard. He le leads you up the wall to the menders, worse for wear. The warped pouring out of the darkness are still mostly dredge, but now you recognize more and more of them as Ebering's clansmen turned into nightmare creatures. Where is... You begin to notice a pile of dead guards and panicked mender holding his light against the approaching warped. Here, shouts Ludin. On the other side of the mender, he approaches with armed men. Haven't lost any menders yet. We've been fighting them off for the way down the walls, but they're coming a lot faster now. He stabs through a lunging warped. And here's more, he shouts. Well, gotta, gotta make do without uh, Gris, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, man, that really stinks. On the plus side, all these guys are healed except for Mogar. Well, I already, he already has a maxed out hero title. What, what, what kind of nonsense are you spewing at me, game? Okay, so I think what we'll do is... Oh, you can't rank up. Is Alette okay? Oh, she is okay. Okay, let's pull her back into the fray. Um, and I think I'll rank up Nid. Give her better puncture or exploit. Yeah, sure. We'll make her really good at not missing. Um, I don't think I can rank her up again. Oh, I can. It only costs 10 now. Nice. So maybe I'll do that and give her some better items. So I think what she has right now is kind of... I mean, the minus aggro is kind of nice. M bonus movement. One will per turn. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Wow. Okay, the blackfish is actually not terrible. It's really good if I just want to break everyone's armor down to nothing. Let's see. So I have Ubin in the party, so I don't want to take that away. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, let's... What is that? Rank 10? 
So let's give this to Nid. Give this to Petrus. And I'm going to rank her up again because it's pretty cheap. Do I want to give her? Oh, that's right. I was going to give her this. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with that. Nice. Okay, and then... Yeah, she's she's just going to be the one that I used to, like, really ping at enemies for a long period of time. <laughs> cool. I'm into this. I kind of like this strategy. Oh boy. Okay, let me just take a pass to make sure everybody has their points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, Trigvi. I don't think I looked at him. Okay, we're good. Let's start this fight, I guess. And hope things work out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Okay, so we have an 18... 10. Oh, warped horseborn, because of course there are. Oh, it's like a weird fish horse. Okay, so there's only one truly heavy hitter. So we'll take him out first. It out first. Let's do this. Not a huge fan of this, but here, let's do this. Scoot everyone over just a little bit. And that way, we can kind of lure everyone off to this side. So we have 30 turns before another wave occurs. Let's break this guy's armor. Whack! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, looks like... Hacken will get to move before big scary guy that is promising. Wow, I could just kill this guy right now. I absolutely will. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, hack on time for a beautiful, beautiful little tempest there. Yes. So satisfying. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to kill this guy. Whack! And I can promote her now. Yes! I'm going to make Nid just a terrifying monster. Okay. Let's break this guy's armor. Yeah, we'll do that. Make him a little less scary. So wave one, I think we're going to be okay. I think this is actually panning out pretty darn well. Uh, it really isn't a ton for you to do right now, so I'm just going to have you mend the tiny bits of damage that his armor has taken. Because why not? Uh, I could have you move up. You know what? I will. Because Hakan's going to need a place to go. Uh, so we might as well start slapping this guy around. Whack! <laughs> Scrivener, yeah! It must be like, get enough kills with Scrivener. Ah, oh. Well, fine, I guess. Get out of here. I'm tired of your nonsense. Well, could absolutely reach with this. Hey, wow, four damage? Not too bad. And I got a crit. Yes. You leave Hacken alone. He didn't do nothing to no one know how. Uh, man, that's really not the most useful thing in the world. But I don't want her to use willpower. Well, maybe she'll get a puncture. Ah. Nah, that's okay. Every little bit helps. <laughs> Uh, he can't be hurt. What What are you even trying to do over there? 
I mean, no one even really needs armor either. I guess I'll uh, just mend his armor or her armor. I'm not actually sure. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so these guys currently have the most health. Um, could. Let's see, knockback? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Sure, I'll put an extra willpower into it. Bam! Yeah, get out of here. None of this nonsense from any of you. In before mistakes are made. <laughs> For some reason, chat wasn't stopped updating in my other... There, I'll just leave this up. This way it always up updates. Okay, anyway. All right, what are we having you do? Reveal weakness? Nah. Uh. Oh, well. Wow, you can just go over here and reach them. You know what? Let's do that. We'll get... You'll lose a lot of willpower in the, the, the passage, but you'll get two kills this way. Rhubarb wine. Whoa. Interesting. That sounds good. I, actually, I feel like maybe I've had rhubarb wine before. But it still sounds really good. Now that's making me want to drink anyway. <laughs> right after I was like, I think I'm tired of alcohol for now. No! Oh, oh. Thought she was going, or it was going for a let. Yeah, that's worth it. Maybe? Ah! Oh, I got an exploit. Wow, I almost killed it. Okay, there we go. Now let can kill this guy without any... Oh, she got an exploit too. Yes! So good. Oh, all my willpower for you. Well, I'm gonna heal your armor anyway. You need seven, she'll heal eight. Boom jams, we good. Ah, oh, all your willpower's gone. Oh, does this guy have an item on him? Yeah! I don't even care. Let's give Ubin more kills! I want to make Ubin the strongest Varl that has ever existed. Okay, well, we're definitely going to fight another wave. Um, it's not telling me... Gandalf's not injured? I guess maybe he's not. Maybe I'm thinking of Sigbjorn. But I might keep this party as is. I don't know if that's smart or not, but... I This time I am going to just totally cut off. I'm just going to go... Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Just going to totally wall off this entire area. Although I do still want Kiwi. Yeah, I think we'll we'll do this. There we go. Yeah, I, that wave really was not too bad. So, let's roll with this. Because these really are my best fighters. Bam. Alright, let's do this thing. I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, this doesn't seem too bad. So we got a spell slinger. Yeah, these guys are nothing. Psha! Piece of cake. Oh, okay. Oh, he had willpower, that's why. Well, you learn the hard way sometimes. Okay, so this, there's no more waves beyond this. Uh, I will absolutely shoot him. Okay, so it's only four, but maybe that'll make all the difference. I don't think she has Bird of Prey now, but she has Overwatch. Um, do I want to use Overwatch? Yeah, let's let's give it a shot. I feel like these guys might move in range. These guys might move around. Hey, there we go. Well, I wasn't wrong. Cool. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just have her rest. Let's do that. 
Get back some of that willpower, even though we have more than plenty on the horn. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Uh, maybe I'll go a little lower. Oh, well, you know, it's fine. Oh, Ubin's not going to be able to get to this guy. Dang it. Well, I'll still slap him for all he's got. <gasps> Ubin to the rescue. No spells for you. Worth it. <laughs> yeah. I am definitely glad I used Overwatch. All right. Let's just get rid of these goons. I could go for another wave after this. This is nothing. Uh, yeah, let's just bop this guy. Oh, oh, look at you trying to hurt me. I don't know why it was a lucky shot. I feel like my chance to hit was 100%. Well, I guess maybe they could still have a dodge chance. They might have some of the same abilities that I have. All right. Wow. All right. Well, everyone's still pretty good. Heck, <laughs> Hekin has full armor. I guess there's nothing to do over here. And breeze. Yeah, okay. I guess just keep hanging out, Zephyr. You good. Peanut damage, exactly. Oh, it's so satisfying when we get to this point. Because it's just like, yep, I'm afraid of nothing. Bop. Boop. Ha. Couldn't even hurt him. Alright, you're dead. Ruben is going to 